So now that we've uh, generated the normal map, uh, we want to reapply to our character. So I'm just going to first of all create a new empty pass. And uh, what we can do is just go to the render tree of the object. So to properly uh, reapply the normal map, what we basically need to do the reverse process. We need to go to, from RGB color space uh, to vector space. So we can use a bunch of vector uh, math nodes to do the same thing. So first thing I'm going to do is just get an image node. Um, and let's get a conversion node, color to vector. So we convert that into a vector type coordinate. And then we can get a bunch of vector math vector nodes. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to multiply it by 2. So we're going to go from uh, 0, 1 to 0, 2. So I'm going to set the scalar input to 2. And we do a vector input 1 times scalar input 1. Now let's get another vector math vector node. And now we want to subtract 1. So let's do vector input 1 minus vector input 2. And we'll set this to 1, 1, 1 here. So now we've kind of remapped it back to our uh, the proper space. And we can just plug that into the bump map port. Uh, we want to make sure we have the proper image selected. So I'll just load it off disk uh, quickly and set the UVs, uh, obviously, to the unique UVs we created. There we go. And let's just draw a render region on that. Ah uh, yes, we need to, of course, plug in just our normal textures to get uh, the surface color. And there you can see we're rendering our bump map uh, back through the normal map we cooked. Uh, it's a little bit grainy. What I can do is increase the resolution of the actual uh, normal map or uh, the render map that we cooked to, to get a better quality. Uh, but definitely... Uh, we get the idea of how it's working. Um, the next thing I want to do is just show you how we can just get uh, another vector math vector node and then plug that into the bump map port and basically use this uh, vector math node to adjust the lighting uh, through the render tree rather than adjusting the lights. So right now it's set to negate. Let's do vector input 1 plus vector input 2. So right now we're back to our default. You can see as I add to that vector, we're basically uh, shifting or uh, changing the direction of the vectors so we can actually dynamically adjust the lighting here to, to correct the image. So a lot of different 2D software works this way by taking the normal map and actually using that to relight the scene uh, after it's been rendered. So this is the way you can do it through the render tree uh, fairly easily. So you can obviously experiment there. I won't go into uh, a lot more details. Uh, what I want to do right now is just hook up a simple switching system so we can preview our actual result of our normal map uh, rendering and our original kind of uh, normal map extraction. So uh, basically, you know, be able to see what we're going to render map first, do the render map, and then just turn the switch on and actually see the result right away. Um, so what we want to do is use a couple switch nodes to do that. The first thing we want to do is switch between the actual texture-based bump and our uh, normal map we generated. So what I want to do is we can just go to a switch here and get a vector switch node. And what we want to do is just plug the bump map there into vector input 1. And this one we'll put into vector input 2. And then we can plug that into the bump map port. So essentially, this is just a simple switch that lets us see uh, what the texture-based uh, bump looks like versus uh, our, our normal map that we cooked. So it's a great way to, to actually quickly see the difference. So we can see right here, uh, switch when it's on, we're looking at vector 2. When it's off, we're looking at vector 1. So currently, vector 1. So yeah, we're looking at the bump map right now. 
Uh, and I want to do the same thing, uh, but with the actual uh, color versus normal map. So in that case, I'm going to get a color switch node uh, since these aren't uh, vectors. So we'll just put this into input 1 and this into input 2 and plug that into the surface. So the same thing in this case, if we open up the Boolean switch, we can preview between the texture and the actual normal map. Now if we want it, we have two switches here. So what we can do is just use a Boolean share to drive both of them at the same time. So we'll get a Boolean share node. So this basically uh, shares uh, the switch between multiple ports. We can just plug this wherever we want and then drive all those uh, inputs with this one switch. So we'll put this into the Boolean switch, into the switch port and into the vector switch, into the input port. And now with this, I can quickly look at, um, in this case, we're going to look at the normal map uh, with the bump map. So this is what we want to cook with the render map. And then here we're looking at our texture uh, with the normal map applied, so our result.